Hey kindergartners, it's Mrs. Shivani. How are you guys today? I hope you're doing well. So every Wednesday, I get to come on and read you guys our skills story for the week. And I'm so excited about this new uh, routine, <clears throat> excuse me, because I love these skill stories. They are really fun. So I know that you've been reading with Mr. Thayer all about Zach and Anne, right? So today we are going to read a story about their tent. And it's a really fun story. And in the story, we're going to see some different punctuation marks. We'll see a period er, that tells us to stop reading the story or to stop reading the sentence. And then we'll also see an exclamation point. Yes. And when we see an exclamation point, that mean, means we need to read with expression. So can you help me out? All right. So I pulled up the story big on the computer so you can see it on whatever device that you're, you, you're uh, watching this from and that you can read along with me. Sound fun? Okay. So listen closely as we read this story, get nice and cozied up and pay special attention pay special attention and tell me at the end why this tent falls because it's gonna fall <laughs> a little sneak peek okay you ready here is the title the tent oh here's a tricky word once once zach's dad got the kids a tent this thing right here is called an apostrophe, and that shows ownership. So whose dad are we talking about? Zach's dad. Apostrophe S shows that whatever the next thing is belongs to that person. So it's Zach's dad. Zach and Anne set up the tent, period. Er. Then the kids sang a song and this tells us what's coming next this big tent it is the best is the best is the best there's an exclamation point that means we read with expression yes this big tent it is the best yes it's the best Oh, I like that little song. I like to make up songs too. Oh, I see he has a hammer there. They set it up. Looks good. Okay. Here we go. The kids had fun in the tent. But then a big wind hit the tent. Flop. If we just read that, flop. I don't know that sounds exciting, does it? Read with expression when you see an exclamation point. Flop! The tent fell on Zach and Anne. Oh no. Oh. Then Zach felt a drip. <gasps> drip, drop, drip, drop. What's he feeling that drip drop from? The rain, yes. Splish, splash, splish, splash. Oh, you have to pay close attention to that vowel in the middle. The I and the A, the I and the A. It's the only letter that changes in that word. If you were too quick and read this fast, you wouldn't, you would just think it said splish, 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 splish. But it says splish, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash. Zach and Anne got wet. The kids set the tent back up. Oh, I don't know if I'd want to go in a tent when it was raining, would you? Unless it was like a super waterproof tent. But I don't really want to get all wet. Let's see how the story ends. Red ants got in and bit Zach. Remember CK says K. Oh no, I see those red ants right there. Do you see them? Oh, that doesn't look so good. A slug got on 
And oh, there's the slug. Well, bugs live outside. Once the ants and slug got in, that was it. Zach and Anne ran from, sight word, the tent. Oh, no. I think that's the end. Oh, that was funny. Okay, let's go back. A few questions before we end. A few questions. So, when they first set up their tent, how did they feel? Excited. I think they're super excited. They have smiling faces on. Anne looks like she's saying to Zach, hey, come on in. This is great. And remember, they were singing about the tent. So, I can tell that they're really excited. And then, we asked in the beginning, why does the tent fall? Well, let's go back and read the text. But then a big wind hit the tent flop. So that's why it falls because it got really windy. How do they get wet? I can see right there from the illustration. It was raining. That's why they got wet. And at the end, what got in the tent? Well, the rain got in the tent a little bit, right? I see it dripping right there. And a slug and some ants. Oh, no. If you were Zach and Anne, would you want to go inside or would you want to keep playing outside? I don't know. Maybe I would take a little break and then try again later. But bugs live outside, so it's okay if a bug gets on. You just flick it off, right? If you don't like it, you can flick it off. Whew. All right, that was a good one. Next Wednesday, we will read a gift from mom, which should be an exciting one. And Mother's Day is coming up too, huh? Okay. Bye, kindergartners. Mwah. Thanks for reading with me.